Nothing like some warm nuts to really make the holiday time. I love nuts! This is yeah. Goop Your Bar Cart. Is this our first episode? This is the pilot. Hi! We're gonna goop that bar cart wicked hard. Uh, I mean, we've been there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Here's what we're gonna do. You have a new vodka line. I do. And we're gonna freaking goop it up in here for the holidays with okay. your vodka and some healthy bar snacks. Just so we don't get too drunk. Okay. We have to do what my mother calls, you have to eat a blotter. Which means have something in your stomach before you have that alcohol. Oh, that's good. So what we're gonna make is marinated, marinated olives olive. and artichoke heart. So I just have some olive oil and I'm gonna put my three smashed garlics. Mm -hmm. The kick. The kick. Mm. And then we'll take a sprig of thyme. Sprigs of thyme. I'm well, then let's use this nice. Okay. There you go. Okay. Oh, look at you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now add that in, and I'm gonna add your two nipple covers <laughs> into the sauce. Should I put a little more in there? Why yeah. Not? So we're gonna let it cool. Why did you decide to start a vodka company? Because other than honestly, the fact that you like we're gonna like send me free vodka. <laughs> That's what I say to all my friends. I'm like nobody has to pay for vodka ever again. <laughs> There's not a lot of women yeah. in the spirit industry. Right. And vodka skews 56% female. So it's kind of funny that right. there's not really a woman representing an industry that actually skews female. Right. I didn't realize that vodka could actually have so much complexity, but it actually does, depending on how you Did like you to learn vodka. tons about? I did. I mean, I learned as much as you can learn about vodka. It's really all about ethanol. So it's it's like the purest form of ethanol, and then the water that you use. Okay. I did not know this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're health conscious at all and you like to have a cocktail, we know that vodka and tequila are the right. two. And Clear spirits. Right. No sugar. Right. No yeast. Right. Mm. Smell this. Does mm. that smell good? Oh. Okay, there we go. Yum! Now can we eat it? If it were me, I would leave it for at least an hour. Okay. Or overnight, and then it'll be really perfect. Mm. Oh, I see what you're saying. So it does, it sort of soaks it up. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. So delicious. We're blottering our way to the bar. <laughs> Next up. Next up, nuts, because we might need something a little more... Nuts! ...real in the stomach, so we can tolerate our gorgeous vodka at 11 in the morning. <laughs> Whoops. Look, not the first time I've had vodka this early. You could use any nuts you wanted. Okay. I love these particular, this combo. Walnut, cashews, and almonds. And pecans. So I'm just gonna stick them on a tray. I'm gonna pop these in the oven, 350, for about five minutes. Okay. And while that's happening, we're just gonna make our little spice drizzle situation. So mm -hmm. can you chop that for me? Yeah. Don't touch Gwyneth's knives. Don't. Unless she says it's okay. They're, I'm very protective. I'm very attached to those knives, mm -hmm. but I'm letting you do it. Okay, so I'm gonna put in some salt here. Some uh, Aleppo pepper and paprika. Mm. Got some thyme. Am I putting this in here? Yes, please. I'm zesting this gorgeous orange. And then we put the coconut oil. So that's solid right now, but when I put the warm nuts on it, <laughs> It's gonna like slither all over them. So, nothing like some warm nuts to really make the holiday times. <laughs> I love nuts! <laughs> My nuts are warm. Mm -hmm. I just wanna say that I have watched Gwyneth cook for years. She's quite the cook. It's true! It's true. When we both lived in London, mm -hmm. You came over all the time and we cooked. Mm. Ooh, that smells good. Right? And so now the oil is melting. It's becoming all emulsified. Mm. Oh, it does smell really good. It, it does. Smells it so smells Christmas like Christmas. I was gonna say, it's mm. like Christmas in a nut. You know, when warm nuts smell this good, <laughs> I just can't help myself. Clearly, we like nuts. Help guys. I am in third grade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and there you Great. go. Great, I love it. How easy, it's two seconds. And then what do you do with these? Then do you just put them, them in right a little away? serving bowl, yeah. Oh, I love this. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Now, we're gonna move on to day drinking. Mm. I'm all about it. Seriously, oh my God. 
Oh, <laughs> yes! The door was open, so. <laughs> Oliver Hudson. Oliver Hudson. In Thanks the house. for having me to your home. Mmm. <laughs> mm. mm. Ollie. Hi, babe. We cooked nuts. Mm. We cooked artichokes. Mm. Warm nuts. We're blottering before we drink. <laughs> Feels like a orange <laughs> zest. Yeah. Well done. Look at I'm this exactly orange right. zest. Mmm. Kate was just explaining to me what, what was... responsible drinking is. I'll tell you what's not responsible drinking. It was us at Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. you and me do? coming home and literally never being sicker in my life. Well, Did you barf? No. No. We had some interesting had, late uh, night around the kitchen island stuff where she had to apologize the next morning. I did not I have to it. apologize. Yeah, you did. Did you no, ring your family members? Oh, it was on another was level on amazing. I was like, I don't it. fuck with me tonight. Mm -mm. No, it was, <laughs> and I, I, we were all encouraging it. Like, what else, Kate? How cathartic. I love that you did that. Do I'm you feeling... remember it? Oliver. <laughs> of course. Let's talk about getting blackout drunk mm -hmm. while making <laughs> <laughs> no martinis. But what are the rules of responsible drinking? Just not driving. I mean, that's well, pretty much oh. it. Well, no. If you're a health conscious person, you can't drink. I don't drink every day at all. Like, I mean, I drink maybe once I a week. I do too. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you have a glass of wine a day? I mean, kind of. Yeah, but isn't that good for you, really? though? According to the American like Heart Association. Sort of yeah, I mean. A glass of wine a day is actually healthy. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's not as healthy. And then four is like, eh. <laughs> Not so great. I'm gonna make an espresso martini mm -hmm. with my King's Treat. This is so fun. I feel like I've really hit, you know, You've the right. You've hit the big time. I've hit the big time. You're finally on with my bar card. That's right. <laughs> Think we're gonna do one and a half parts. <laughs> Vodka, you if you're just not walk listening, away, it's fine. Really, I see I Vodka, an ice, espresso. Nice. Okay. Then we've got the liqueur. Mm -hmm. What okay. kind of liqueur? This is coffee a liqueur. coffee liqueur. Okay. I used to sneak that from my parents' bar. Pinch cart of when salt. I was <laughs> a little pinch. Okay. Um, babe, can I take this shaker home? <laughs> it's yes. so pretty. I won't charge you. So. You won't? Uh -uh. Okay. Is this a single martini? Yes. Right. Okay. Do you have to taste the vodka I'm definitely... alone and warm? Because alone and warm. Is this gonna make warm? two? Alone and warm. That's like the name of your new book. <laughs> it's like the name of my <laughs> sex life. <laughs> okay. So we do this now. We're gonna garnish with like let's do like three little of these guys. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What right? about one of these? Uh, let's get some pretty ones. dried Woo. mandarin. No, no. Okay. Just trying to spice it up a little bit. <laughs> oh my god, it smells amazing. Oh, <laughs> that is so good. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I guess I have to do the same line, right? Yep. Mmm. <laughs> that is so good. But really, how is it? It's really good. <laughs> That's actually very, very good. How smooth is my vodka? Your vodka's amazing. Alone smooth and warm. Smooth as a baby's bottom. Alone and warm. I think you should have called it alone, alone and warm. Alone and warm with Gwyneth Paltrow. Mm. <laughs> It's really mm. good, mm -hmm. right? It's amazing. Thank you. Okay, now I am going to goop it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this is exactly. We were kind of riffing on like a brand Alexander, but we didn't want to use heavy cream. And we also wanted to incorporate the espresso martini vibe, but I think I landed on something good. Okay. I'm gonna put some ice in here. Mm. Now I'm gonna take my gorgeous, I keep wanting to say the address of your house. I know, but don't. Just, it's only called <laughs> King Street. Vodka. I'm gonna do one and a half. Vodka. Doesn't and it look pretty too? It's like good. Why on a bar. do you think it's our first episode of Goop Your Bar Cart? Look at this. Aesthetics are important. Okay, so I have a nice shot of espresso, and then I'm gonna put some cacao powder. Mm. Cocoa powder. Cacao. cacao. I think it changed like five years ago. I know. It used to be cocoa, and then it then it became cacao. Why? Why? Because did Because it's do the that? proper. It's hip. It's cool. Yeah. This is yeah. maple syrup, or just the proper. Two it's actually called table. Nepal. Syrup now? <laughs> my pal. That was two teaspoons Maple? of that. And then macadamia nut milk, mm. which is kind of my new I've favorite. Never had macadamia it's really nut good. Milk. And a pinch of salt. Mm. Then I'm gonna mm. shake it. The real scoop it up. And that hold my boobs while I do it. <laughs> As I pour it. I want you guys to tell me about your new hit podcast. Oh yeah. 
sibling rivalry. We have a very interesting, robust sibling relationship. We do. And we thought it would be fun to sort of talk about us, but also sort of figure out and get into everyone else's So it's a podcast where, where you two siblings yeah. interview other siblings. It's about family dynamics. Here, I'm gonna do this first. And Cheers. it's very funny. It's funny. Mm, who's but it's here? funny, but it's, it's like, I've cried every third oh episode. God. Isn't that good? Let me that's taste like, it. It's like, like chocolate milk. <gasps> it's like I, like drunk oh. ice cream. It's, it's not as good nut. if mm. you don't use King that's Street really Vodka. Good. That's true. That's true. That's that is true. This, the, <laughs> the way to do that. <laughs> true. <laughs> so Who's been your favorite and, guest so far? We can't say, okay, Honestly, not your favorite. You know but. what's been the best thing about all of it is that everybody is, it's so different. People that you know, people that you love that you feel connected to, because you're, you're, you're interviewing them with their sibling, you get a completely different feeling from them. Right. Then like, that's a very interesting point actually, because, because you, you can't present what you want to present, right? It's like your sibling is almost like your personality kryptonite. Mm -hmm. Like they know you better yeah. than anyone. Last um, question, yeah. who is your dream sibling guest pair to have on your podcast? I know mine. What Gwyneth is, and Jake Paltrow. <laughs> Gwyneth and Jake Paltrow. <laughs> <laughs> but the, other than you guys. I'd say, for me, it would be Peyton and Eli Manning. Oh, me too. Me too. You guys, That's our you're dream. so hetero. That's my <laughs> <laughs> the, so the Williams sisters, Venus and Serena. Oh, that'd be amazing That'd be too. amazing. And the Wachowskis. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. they're great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are really so many interesting pairs. There's so yeah. many. There are so many. And then Tom Cruise. Does he have a sibling? Ooh. I don't know. We'd be like, I went to, <laughs> to the, the danger zone. zone. <laughs> All right, well, we have gooped our personalities, um, our vodka revelry, we've gooped our vodka, we've gooped our freaking bar card. Mm -hmm. That is a gooped up bar card if I've ever seen one. What do I do? I'm drunk. Next time. We come. We come. Ollie, you're so hot. In the comments below, oh, okay. tell us what so are you. drinks that you, oh my God, this is so inappropriate. <laughs> so good You looking. are married. What drinks would you like us to, to make? Because we will make them and then we will goop them. Mm -hmm. We love you, bye.